thanks for joining us. MLB The Show brings you the American League Division Series. It's the New York Yankees taking on the Minnesota Twins. Along with my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shomby. We're looking forward to what's sure to be a dramatic Game 3, Chris. Well, it's a lot to ask a team to come back from down 2-0, but it's been done before, and I know they're not lacking in confidence, even in this tough situation, but it all starts with getting off to a good start in this one. And when you're the team that holds the 2-0 edge in a five-game series, you want to end the series right now. Absolutely. Avoid any drama or doubt and finish the job. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Down the hill in this one, Carlos Silva. Well, he throws the change in the slider off the fastball. I really like how he's able to sell fastball, but it's really change up and keep hitters just out in front a little bit. Swing and miss, soft contact. The slider as well comes out of the same tunnel. All three very deceptive, and hitters are going to have to stay back and make sure they get pitch recognition. Ready to go? Here's a speed threat. Derek Jeter. And the pitch. In the center. Hunter in pursuit. Hauls it in for the out. Rodriguez. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. Yeah, he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. Now the one On the ground. And that's just foul. Oh, and two now. That one, 95 to finish him off. Gary Sheffield stepping in now for the Yankees. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. Swing and a miss. And he'll won. That's towards center. Hunter has it sized up. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Yankees nothing. Twins coming to bat. This is the American League Division Series on the show. And on the hill, the big righty, Kevin Brown. And Singy, he's one of the most dominant arms in all of baseball. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Now it's going to be Shannon Stewart. The wide to kick the pitch. Brown, a former All Star. He features a four seam fastball, a splitter, a slider. A changeup, and he works in a sinker. And he deals. And it's fouled away. Lifted in the air, right center field. Sheffield settles under it and puts the squeeze on that. And a quick out, number one. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. First offering, misses the mark. 
They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit, you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. And a 1-2. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Toughest pitch to hit. Fastball on the outer black. Man, sometimes you just got to tip your cap. At the play, Torrey Hunter. Ball one, no strikes. Righty to the plate. There's the swing and a miss. And yeah, now two balls and a strike. And now two and two. It's looking pretty sharp to start the ball game. He's got that good fastball working early. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. He's got it, and that is out number three. Nothing doing here for the Twins. We played an inning, no score. Chris gets a lot of praise for that. He does, Boog, and I think that with any umpire, you really just want them to be consistent. Fillmore's a guy that does a good job back there in that way, so people around the league really appreciate his consistency. One down, base is empty. Swing and a ball lifted in the air, shallow left field. That gets down for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Man at first with one gone. Jorge Posada stepping in now for the Yankees. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Williams, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. That's in there. And that is strike two. Well, he left that change up up. Got away with one there, and he'll take it, but doesn't want to make that mistake again. Next pitch misses inside. Now one and two. Out towards right center field. It gets down, a base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at-bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. He obviously put a very nice swing on that pitch and really drove it towards the gap, but I'm pretty surprised he only ended up on first right there, and it's kind of hard. And that is ball one. Kicks and fires. Struck him out looking. Well, oh, that was such a great opportunity to grab the lead. You had the infield back. All you've got to do is just put the ball in play on the ground, and you drive across a run. It's a frustrating outcome for the hitter. Now, I'll still have a chance, but it's probably going to take a clutch hit with two outs. So up next, Miguel Cairo. And a foul ball. Runners on first and third, two away. Swing and a miss. Oh, and two.
And the right hander deals. Going to count one and two. Goes down looking. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there, and sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. That one is absolutely belted way back there. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. Mordeaux into second, and he's got a double. And if you're the pitcher, you can't be frustrated. You know this is going to be the toughest batter that you face tonight, and you're going to have to face him a couple of times. So you just tip your cap and hope that you can get the next guy out. And stepping in is the speedy number 47. And the first pitch misses for ball one. At the belt and fires. Foul ball. Runner leads away at second. There's a swing and a drive. That one carrying. And it slams off the bottom of the wall. Run scores easily, and it's 1-0. Seeing some good swings from him right now with consecutive extra base hits. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. Guzman. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One out and a runner at second. Bounced out to short. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Goes to third for one. Here's the second baseman, number five. The second baseman, number five. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. And a pitch. And a foul ball. The one two. He goes down looking. And it yeah, we in go mode. Going, going. Yeah, we in go mode. Going, going. Yeah, we in go mode. Yeah, we in go mode. Never going slow mode. Going. And there's the strike. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch you'll see in this at bat to hit. And that one is lifted in the air. 
and it gets by him. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. The throw in. Not in time. It's a double. You know what they say. He couldn't have thrown it out there any better than that. And certainly the case that time. Just flared it back behind the second baseman and dropped it in there. And the batter will be the shortstop. Derek Jeter. Flied out his first time. Steel. Runner takes off for third. Pitch in for a strike. Throw to third. Save. Well, maybe he thought he should have gone for a triple instead of a double and just decided, I'm going to take third this way. Definitely using his legs to his advantage right here. Runner at third here. Nobody out. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. And a foul ball. That one lifted to left. Stewart settles under this one. Makes the catch. Runner tagging from third. He scores. That's a big sacrifice fly. It's 1-1. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job. Rodriguez goes six feet three inches a member of the 3,000 hit club can't forget to mention he's a former MVP and a pitch strike two all right now he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpires calls but at this point he's gonna have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone And looking that's a strikeout so he gets the call and picks up the strikeout looking sometimes with a good hitter at the plate he'll be the one to get the benefit of the doubt if he lays off on a close pitch like that but just not right there strike zone definitely expand a little bit with two strikes and now the right fielder Gary Sheffield in there for strike one Wind to the pitch. And there's a foul ball. The pitch. Lifted in the air, right field. Jones settles underneath it. And that is that. But they push across one run. One hit, no errors, and no one left. We head now to the home half of inning number three. All tied 1-1. One, one. Catcher, Henry Blanco. The pitch. That one out to right. Sheffield settles under it. Puts it away for the out. Shannon Stewart, the next twin up to hit. 0 for 1 so far. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. That misses the zone. 1 and 0. Oh. And I would say that most great defensive outfielders, it's kind of natural. There is some work that you can do to it uh, to improve your game, but ultimately, you either have it or you don't. Bounce to third. Fair ball. Now he'll turn for second. The throw in. He's in at second with a one out double. Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. Became an elite 
perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he's a guy, when you watch him play, you would imagine that that's all he ever played in his life was the outfield. That one pushed foul. Yeah, some guys just have instincts, right? I mean, that's the way it goes. We talk about Larry Walker, the Hall of Famer, and his instinct on the bases, despite the fact that he didn't play a, a ton of baseball as a kid. Whips it to first, and there's two down. And Chris, beyond the fact that he's so incredible defensively, he also can swing the stick. Torrey Hunter, the next twin up to hit, fly to right his first time. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. And the first offering is not close. The 1-0. -on. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. Sheffield going back on this one. Pulls it in on the warning track. One left for Minnesota. Score remains deadlocked at one. The 0-2. And Whoa, ball right one. There. It's a good take. Lifted in the air, out to left. Stewart makes the grab, one away. Bernie Williams getting ready to hit. This guy makes great contact. One of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. Jones snags it for the second out. And now the catcher comes up to him. Jorge Posada. And he's already singled in this game. And that's in there for strike one. Boom. Over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that, you could have a really good day out there on the mound. Two down, nobody on. Good eye right there. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. And that one is lifted in the air. Hunter has it sized up. Makes the catch inning over. Yanks held in check. Score remains tied 1-1. Up hitter for Minnesota, Justin Morneau. The pitch. Whips it to first on the run. One out in the bottom of the fourth. Now number 47. And now here is number 47, doubled in his first AB. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. First pitch, and he just misses. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Backer to the mound. Gets it to first. Already two gone here in the home fourth. Off-speed pitch, and it looked like he just continued his momentum towards home plate after releasing that perfect position to make a play and help himself out. Ford swings through that one as he comes to the plate for the second time today. 
Pitch misses, and the count is one and one. Two outs. And now one and two. Well, you got to find a way to catch up to that pitch. Perhaps shorten the swing, eliminate the stride. That one came in hot, but right down the middle, you're saying to yourself, how did I miss that pitch? Got to make a quick adjustment. And the righty deals. Fights it off. You'll see another. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. Ford checks his swing. Now it appealed to first. And he held up. Center field. Williams makes the grab and that'll end the inning. Twins retired in short order. Still tied, 1-1. One, two now. Just misses with that one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. That's ripped, and this one could be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he's got a leadoff double. Everything came together for him. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. A chance now to take the lead. And at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Go ahead, run on base. Now it's the second baseman, Miguel Cairo. Pulls that one foul. Runner at second, nobody out. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Man at second. In there, sets him down on strikes. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Runner at second here, one gone. In the air, left field, and a base hit right there. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night, and just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Back to the top of the lineup, Derek Jeter stepping in now for the Yankees. In the air, out towards right center. Can't get there. Base hit. Coming home. Throw cut off. Now to the plate. And he's out. I don't think he got a great read and or jump as he was trying to score from second on that one. Nice execution by the defense. Come up throwing. Hit the relay man. And then onto the plate. Beautiful example of a well-executed play. fly ball out towards left field Stewart on the move racing back pulls it in on the warning track one left for the Yankees halfway home all even one apiece
on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Henry Blanco, the next twin up to hit. 0 for 1 with a flyout. That's through there for a strike. The 0 1. Line drive. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there are two down. Back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. So up next for Minnesota, Shannon Stewart. One for two. And that one fouled off. The 0 1. And strike two. This game has been so tight. Feels like the next team to score will win it. The 0 2. Good eye in that spot. One ball, two strikes. And a pitch. Struck him out looking. Twins wind up stranding one. We played five full, tied at one aside. Kicks and deals. On the ground to third. Tosses across the first. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. So here's the cleanup hitter, Hideki Matsui. Matsui in his rookie season, 25 years old. And he was born in Japan. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Lifted in the air right center field. Hunter in pursuit. He makes the catch and there's two down. Right-hander kicks, deals. And it stays fair. Now he turns and heads for second. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Jorge Posada will hit next. Ripped into right center. Should be extra bases. Run comes in from second and a 2-1 ball game now. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. So two down, number 18 stepping in now for the Yankees. First offering misses the mark. Two outs and one in scoring position. 
Next offering is in for a strike. I got a ball, one strike. That's a slider for a strike. Tonight, his slider has been really impressive. I mean, tight spin. Seems like the hitters aren't picking it up out of the hand. Line drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. Posada headed for the plate. He scores. It's 3-1. Stringing them together, that's three hits in a row. Man, that feels so good to shoot an absolute bolt the opposite way. Split the gap and know that you've got extra bases right off the bat. That's the kind of thing hitters dream about when they're falling asleep at night. Swing and a pop-up. Number 47 on his way over. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that will end the inning. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. Two, three, four, two up in the home half of the sixth. Yankees three, and the Twins one. Hit hard. That gets through. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Tory Hunter. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Jones gets his lead at first with nobody out. Ripped to first, caught! Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's great for this team. He is a professional hitter. Back to the mound. And it gets by him. Here comes the throw. Tag got him. Aggressive base running there, trying to take advantage of the defense, but he's out at third. Hey, as a former center fielder, I'm feeling pretty good right now. That's an excellent job by this guy to come up throwing and deliver a strike to third base. Now, for the offense, that's a tough one to swallow because you never want to lose a runner in scoring position by making it out at third base. Now, here is number 47. Oh. First offering, and it just misses. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. Righty to the plate. So now one and two. Just an outstanding job of spinning the baseball, moving it around, doing what he does. Fouls it off, still one and two. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. Here's a one-two. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it and then extended. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. And a good eye there. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. The one two. Line drive, base hit. 
Runner at third, puts on the brakes. Base is now loaded with two away. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. That one pushed to the left and foul. Here comes the 0-1. At the bat. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. And a ball in two strikes. They tried to get him to go. Chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. Right there. One runs in. Here's the throw, and he's in there as two runs score on the play. Nicely done. Brings home two. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. On the mound now, number 28. So up next, number five. That one's in there, 0 and 1. First and second, two down. That misses, and it's a ball to strike. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Up the middle, diving, and he can't make the play. Williams fires it to the plate, and he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. Well, it's pretty difficult to throw a base runner out at the plate with two outs on a base hit to the outfield, but an excellent job of coming up with it, getting rid of it quickly, and throwing on the money. That is great technique from start to finish. Nice job to end the inning. Now the number two hitter, Alex Rodriguez. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Breaking ball through there for a strike. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That one back. And that is gone. So he leaves the yard to left. Just like that, they move in front. It's 4-3. Lightning fast hands to be able to hit that velocity fastball on the inside part of the plate. In my experience, when you're looking out over the plate, allowing the ball to travel, it's pure reaction to hit a pitch in that location. That's a tremendous swing. Now the batter now, Gary Sheffield. And that's in there for strike one. Now one and one. Up. 
And now the count one and two after the swing and the miss. And that one hit 97 on the gun. Another look at the long ball for the Yankees. It's now a 4-3 ball game. at second base with a double. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets in the scoring position. Now, there are several ways that they can get this run across. So digging in, Shannon Stewart. One for three. In there for strike one with a single base runner because of all the power. They are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. And now the one looked like it was a little bit up. The pitch fought off foul. And now it's one and two. And a ball evens the count. Here comes a pitch. Got him. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. And there's one away. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count off at two balls and two strikes. But that time chased outside the zone. Two now. That's down and in. Blanco over at second, one down. Oh, that fastball drilled him. He had him one, two, and he ends it with that fastball. Swing and a miss struck him out. Man, he got a real good pitch to hit right there with two strikes. You cannot miss that. Not a great slider at all. And I tell you what, that's where you've got to do damage. He looked like he was on time getting the bat through the zone, but he just caught air. So first and second with two outs. Justin Mordeaux, the next twin up to hit. Foul ball there. Big spot. Two out. Both the tying and go-ahead runs are aboard. Fastball, and he gets out of the way. The idea was right, looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. That misses. Two balls, two strikes. This ball's chopped on the ground. Tosses to first. Play made. That ends the inning. Tidy work out of the Yankee bullpen there. We look ahead to inning number eight. The Yankees four and the Twins three. towards right center field and that one hops the wall into second easily with a leadoff double he was 
all over that one. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And now it's going to be Bernie Williams. That one ripped right center field. That ball's carrying. And it is gone. He flexes his power with that swing. And they add on. It's 6-3. One pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you could say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. A breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. Number 18, stepping in now for the Yankees. Line drive, that's a base hit out of the left center field. Miguel Cairo stepping in now for the Yankees. That's a little bit low. Still only one out here in the inning. So two balls and no strikes. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just going to have to tip your cap on that pick. Swings and misses, and there's two away. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. Number 12 stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Next pitch is outside. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. The pitch. That one finds the zone, and it's two and one now. And fouled off. Swings and sends a rocket to right. Jones makes the catch, and that'll do it. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now 6-3. Out of the pen, he's into the game, but the base is empty. And now the DH, Lou Ford. This is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him. Swing and a miss. And that's strike one. Fans come to the ballpark to watch him play. And in baseball, to have such a talented player going out there every day and putting on the show that he does, just a joy to watch. That's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single couple of hits in a row for him here everything was on time and fluid in that swing got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it in the center for the so two down now and here is number five and that one upstairs here's a run scoring opportunity you definitely got to push something across because it's not going to get any easier you get to the ninth you get a lockdown closer ready to come in At the belt and fires. In the air, right field. Sheffield squeezes it, and that'll do it. One left for Minnesota, and they're still doubled up. It's six to three. Alex 
Brooks Rodriguez. He's already homered in this game. Swings and misses. And it's 0 and 1. Next offering is fouled back. Kicks and fires. Chopped left side. Fires over to first. Rodriguez out of the play. Two outs, base is empty. And now the right fielder, Gary Sheffield. This guy has turned into a beast. Pop foul out of play off to the right. Oh, one down. On the ground, right side. Gathers and throws to first. And it's a one, two, three inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. And 9 1 2 scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. Yankees six and the Twins three. Puts it in the air out towards left center. And makes the grab. And there's two away. So they're down to their final out. And now, Jock Jones. In the air, left field. He's got it. Ball game. The Yankees bounce back from consecutive losses to take game three of the series. In an elimination game, you see your season quickly coming to an end. It can be a bit nerve-wracking, but they were able to settle things down, come out and play really good baseball in this one. They get the win, and the series continues. Who knows? Maybe they'll get right back in it. final score for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Shambi. Talk to you soon.